Hey there guys, it's Tina and I am back and I am giving you shoulder child. Look at my little poofy poof polka dot situation here. This is from Target. It's really cute. I really like this blouse. I will link it down below in case you're interested. I think this is from Who Want Wear. Yes, Who Watch Wear and it's cute. Anyway, don't mind this eyeshadow and lipstick combination, okay? Right now I am rocking mauvey pinky tones on my eyes. Not my go-to. You guys probably already know I'm not into mauvey pinky tones if you watched me before. And then I paired it with a neon pink. I don't necessarily know that the eyeshadow and the lips pair really well together, but here's the thing. I needed a bold lip with this polka dot top, okay? I needed to make a statement and I wasn't gonna remove my eyeshadow to wear this lip. So we're just gonna pretend that it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like it's too off, but just in case you're wondering, warm tone, cool tone, don't worry about it, okay? So, we are here for another shopping block video. <gasps> I know! So these brands have been releasing products non-stop, and I thought they slowed down a little bit for quarantine COVID situation, but apparently they're like releasing everything now that they didn't get to release earlier in the year. So here we are, we have a lot to talk about, and in case you're new to this channel, or this is your first time watching a shopping blog video, my shopping blog videos are kind of a hybrid between an anti-haul and a wish list. So it's like, I am blocking you from shopping, we're going through new releases and we're talking about them and seeing if these are things that we want to pick up, but really and truly I'm trying to talk you out of it because we need to be conscious shoppers here, and that's my intent here on this channel. I don't always succeed because sometimes I'm like, yeah, block, not buying it, then I end up buying it. So, yeah, get the premise? Okay, so, whoo, child. So there are a lot of things to talk about today. I have a two-page list, and yes, it's an actual list that I wrote down. So we're gonna go through all these and talk about it and talk ourselves out of it, you know, you know, as we do. So without much further ado, let me fix myself and let's get right into it. So we're gonna start out with these new influencer brands. So a few influencers have debuted their own brands and it's different products. It's not just makeup this time around. They are giving us a mix of things, so we'll talk about them first. So the first one I want to talk about is Desi from Desi Perkins. It's spelled D-E-Z-I. And she recently revealed that she's starting her own brand and we now know what it is. So she is releasing sunglasses, which is really on brand for her because she has done collaborations before with Key Australia. And oh my God, she has such beautiful styles of sunglasses. Like the frame she chose, the color of the lenses, they were all so beautiful. And I think I have one pair of the black aviators, but the smaller size, I think those are what, 55 millimeter? Cause I don't like the big old sunglasses and I've scratched those lenses and I'm highly upset. So I might have to actually pick up a new one. However, I was looking at the prices of these and I was like, 75 and how much? Uh -uh, I am not trying to pay that kind of money for these glasses, child. I don't know where I saw the price point, but I was not, no, mm -mm, I was, I, ooh, child, so I'm showing you here. I'm getting my photos from Trend Mood in case you're curious. I think that's where I saw the prices. Yes, so here it says there's six styles and they range in price from $65 upwards to $85, which I guess is not that outside of the realm of prices for sunglasses, but I'd rather not pay that much because I scratch the lenses so easily that I'm like, mm, um, mm, not so much. But then I'm looking at the styles and I'll show you here so you can check them out too. The styles look very simple. The first one, the on red, I do like that. Those are very cute, but like the thicker frames, are not my thing and is it just me or these plastic frames kind of look cheaper i know i know I, I i didn't say that but for 85 dollars you know how when you get an itch in your eyebrow you try to scratch it when it's filled in and you're just scratching it with your fingernail that's what i just did right now but anyhow these plastic frames look a little cheap i'm not gonna lie so um i'm probably just gonna get the key australia one that i absolutely love already instead of getting these from desi but congratulations to her High five, I think it's a great release. I think it's great for her, it fits her brand. And the styles are cute if you're into these kinds of glasses, but I don't know if I'm, mm, I don't know if I'm willing to spend that, that price point though. But you know, 
I'm sure she's coming out with good quality sunglasses. It's just where do you stand with spending money on sunglasses? I toss them in bags and I don't need them to get scratched up. I know I should use the protective sleeve, but you, listen, I'm not really great at doing these things, okay? So I'm not gonna get those. So <sighs> off my list, but it's up to you. Like, how do you feel about high price sunglasses? Like, you tell me. And the next one up is from Jackie Ina. So she's releasing a brand as well. It's called For Forever Mood and it's spelled F-O-R-V-R, -R, which leaves out the E's in forever. And these are gonna be candles. So <laughs> I was kind of like, what? When she unveiled the brand and like was sneak peeking it, she said it wasn't gonna be makeup. So then I'm like, what could it be? I wonder, she's trying to be different. And then I saw the reveal and it was candles and I'm like, is she known for candles? Is that a thing? I know that's a YouTube thing to have candles in the background, but is that her thing? I don't know. I know people love candles. I, I'm so, so with candles. I'm okay. Like I'll light a candle, but like, that's not my go-to. Like, the Bed Bath & Beyond craze is not my thing. I never got into that. I will buy specialty candles and I'll burn them like if I cook and I want the place to smell nice, but I'm more of a room fragrance kind of person. But anyway, there are four candles here. Left on red, cuff and season. What kind of princess? What does it say here? Matcha print. Oh, matcha business. Matcha business. Oh, I see. Play on words. I see you. And caked up. They look very simple, and you know, we'll see. We'll see. You guys let me know how this goes because I'm not buying it. I don't need candles. And if I was going to buy candles, I'd probably buy cheaper candles just because I don't care that much. <laughs> Or you know what candles I like the ones from candles by Victoria those are a little bit pricier but they're so fragrant and beautiful and there's so many options so I won't get these but y'all y'all let me I know a lot of y'all support her so y'all let me know how that goes but do you I wonder how much they're gonna be are they like $30 I'm feeling like they're gonna be $30 did I have this on yeah there we go off the list not getting those I mean do you need you tell me you need bougie candles or are you more like the bed bath and beyond kind of person because i get my candles my little cheap ones at home goods for like five dollars i am not out here spending thirty dollars on a candle i don't have time okay so no it's a no for me all right the next influencer brand patrick star and i bet he's kicking himself now for naming himself star because he used jeffree star as an inspiration Whoo, bet you want to rethink that. So Patrick Starr is a beauty boy here on YouTube and he was one of the first ones and he's like full glam and he's done collaborations in the past with MAC. So it made sense for him to now release his own makeup brand. This one is an actual makeup brand and this debuted in Sephora. So straight away, straight to Sephora, not like an offshoot indie brand. I think he's working with an offshoot of Kendo Brands. Kendo Brands is the umbrella company that manages Mark Jacobs, Fenty Beauty, KVD Vegan Beauty Doing Good, and now I think Patrick Starr. I think that's what I heard. It's something like that because that's how he has the partnership with, um, what is this called? Sephora. So the brand is called One Size, which is cute. I like the concept of the brand. It's the idea that makeup can be worn by anyone. And that's the beauty about makeup, actually, that there's no size into it. Like a red lipstick is a red lipstick is a red lipstick. You don't have an extra large and a small, right? So that's the idea behind the brand. And I like that. And for his first release, he has makeup remover products. So we have a go off makeup dissolving spray and then a go off juiciest makeup wipes and i'm looking at these okay so it's 24 dollars for the spray the large size and then the smaller travel size is 18 dollars. so if you just wanted to try it out you could and then the wipes you have the small size eight dollars or the large size which is 15. that's i guess that's not too bad i don't spend that much on makeup wipes and makeup wipes i use very sparingly i'm not the kind of person who's like no to wait makeup wipes never ever i do have makeup wipes for very specific reasons it's usually to clean off swatches or lipsticks like liquid lipsticks but i still try to stay away from using them too much because they're very wasteful and they're not good for the environment because they're single use only and I don't like makeup wipes for removing my makeup, like my face makeup. What I will use is a makeup oil, a cleansing oil. That is my favorite way to remove makeup and then I go in with a second cleanse. And it makes my skin 
luscious and clear. So makeup wipes, no. And a lot of people are staying away from makeup wipes. So I'm surprised that he came out with makeup wipes. But these are supposed to be large sized makeup wipes, like twice the size of a regular wipe. And then it says this is juiciest, but the reviews I've been seeing say they're not that juicy, like they're dry. Now, if you insist on having makeup wipes, I like to have makeup wipes as a backup. They're not my go-to remover, but I still have them in reserve just in case. The ones I recommend are from Skin Food. These are the Rice Daily Brightening Cleansing Tissue. This contains 80 sheets, and this will last you a long time. Now, what I like about these, that is making a lot of noise, is that they stay moist, like they're really, really moist. They have a lot of cleansing solution in them and they don't dry out because I have my wipes around for a long time because again, I'm not using them daily at all. So this will last me six months to a year to go through 80 sheets because again, using them sparingly and these never dry out. I've never had one dry out ever. And it has the seal with the little, um, the little tape which I actually keep over my wipes and then it closes and Patrick Star I think same packaging similar packaging but I'm hearing that his wipes are dry so I wouldn't recommend them unless you're gonna try the smaller size it's like just stay away and then the dissolving spray I get the concept but I'm gonna spray like to me you're gonna spray something so I'm gonna spray a makeup spray right this is a refresher spray this gets everywhere. It's on my legs, it's in my hair, it's in my mouth. Lord have mercy. Now, hmm, don't want it in your mouth. So, if I'm gonna use a dissolving spray, I'm gonna get that everywhere. Why would I wanna do that? Like, I want a controlled application when I'm doing that, right? So, for me, I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to be different, you're trying to be innovative, but is that what you want to do unless you're gonna spray it on the wipe and then use it but then why or you're gonna spray it on a cotton pad or you're gonna spray like the spray concept it mm, it's not working out it's not working out at all but the spray seems to be okay from what I've seen but for me a cleansing oil is so much better it dissolves sunscreen and long wear makeup and mascara and eyeliner all of that okay it works really well and that's my preferred way the Shuimura cleansing oil chef's kiss amazing and I actually have this is SK2 I have their new cleansing oil to try I'm gonna use it today I got that from yesterday I'm gonna try it out child if you want a good cleansing oil Korean skincare Japanese skincare you can find it there I will leave a link to yesterday where you can find very inexpensive cleansing oils that are magnificent all right so he also recently debuted I think this was yesterday I saw this pop up there's an eyeshadow palette that's called the Patrick Star Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. I am so bored looking at this. Like, I, I'm looking at the swatches and when I tell you that I am so bored with this and the swatches look like actual swatches because they're so janky in the photos and you can see like the sheerness in that blue shade because the blue shade seems to have um, glitter in it and it's patchy yeah it doesn't even look like a good blue like who this is these are your promotional images the lines aren't straight like they look so janky and mm -mm, mm -mm. and I mean I see where he's going they're very muted shades maybe that's where he's going for a muted eyeshadow pat no it says a highly pigmented 15 pan eyeshadow highly pigmented where where I don't see it I do not see it um okay whatever and this retails for how much now let me see 42 so it's not like too crazy price but nothing about this palette seems exciting to me and that blue the blue that he's showing in that is not the blue that's in that palette why are you lying why are you turning up all the saturation on the why are you such a liar i want to see reviews on this vid because i don't it no I don't believe it I don't believe it I can't wait to see reviews I'm not buying it I don't think you should either because this palette is like a neutral palette with a pop of blue haven't we gotten over this by now and I mean the assortment of mattes and shimmers seems cute but we're gonna see 
Do not pick this up. Wait for reviews. Let these review channels purchase it, okay? Let them spend their money, their coins on this. You save your money, child. We don't need that foolishness, no. Then he has a liquid liner that's $19. You're cute. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I'd rather buy another liquid liner. Are you guys still wearing liquid liner? I barely wear a liquid liner. I can't tell the last time I did a wing. Like a real, you know what I should do? I should do a full on wing and like a sex fixin' red lip. That's what I should do like a snow, ooh, I'm gonna do that in this polka dot. That's what I should have done, but that's not it. I, if you wanna try a liner, I mean, go ahead. And then he has pencil eyeliners. Oh, these are gel eyeliners that are sharpenable, right? And they're two colors, black and brown. Basic, makes sense. I see where you're going. And then he has Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Liquid Shadows, $22, five shades. I don't care. I re mm. These look, ch these don't look good. They look chunky and I'm very skeptical when it comes to liquid eyeshadows. Not every brand gets it right. You know what I mean? So are we still doing these like the steel of glitter and glue? Are we still doing that? I don't know. That was kind of like two years ago. So I'm not getting anything here and I don't think you should either. But let me know what you guys think. But let's, no, let's take that off, off the list. Bye. Okay, moving on. Next influencer, Wayne Goss. So it seems like a lot of people don't watch Wayne Goss hair. I thought more people watched him than, okay, that's fine. I know I'm subscribed. I've been subscribed for like seven, eight, nine, ten years at this point. Like I've been watching. Wayne is an OG. Like he been here, okay? He out here in these streets. He been around. I don't watch his videos because I don't know. Like I'm not really into his videos. I used to watch them a lot more when back in the day, but now I'm just... Sometimes I'll peruse, but like I'm not really interested. Anyway, he's debuting um, more products in his line. So he started out with brushes. A lot of people love his brushes. Not my favorite style because they have tapered pointy tips and I don't like that. So not the biggest fan of his brushes, but he released lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners. And I picked up a lip gloss, a lipstick, and I did a full review. I will link it over here. I tried it out. Not the biggest fan, like the lip liners were the best thing about that line. I'm okay, they're high priced. I'm like, mm, that's a lot. But then he released a new eyeshadow palette and eyeliners. And these are available on Beautylish exclusively. Still on Time Out Beautylish. I'm still waiting to hear like, what are you doing about um, Jeffree Star? Like, what are, we, or what are we doing? Anyway, Wayne Goss. Three eyeliner pencils, they're coal liners. He loves a coal, he's always loved a coal. And these are $14, oh that's not bad. That is not bad. Rich Hazel, Precious Opal, and Obsidian. So there's a black, what color? So black, Bosch Precious Opal, like what color is that? Does it say? It is not even saying. What color? Oh, it's a brown. All right, a brown, and then the other one is what? Is that another brown? Oh, it's two browns? Two browns and a black? Is that what we're saying? Anyway. They're three liners. I don't know that you need all of these, but a coal liner is a good liner to have. Maybe I'll get the like the dark brown one to try it out. Because $14 is not too bad. But the luxury eyeshadow palette is 55 dollars for six shades. I expected this price point, not gonna lie to you, I expected this price point. I did not expect it to be for six shadows though. Now, I don't know if you guys follow Wayne. Again, I'm subscribed to him. And I saw when he spoke about um, his brand and what he was envisioning. This was years ago too. It wasn't even like recent. Years ago, he was talking about the component for his eyeshadows. And I remember him showing this um, packaging and how he wanted the pants to be large so you could fit your brush in there. And then he wanted to use up all the space in the palette, not have wasted space, which I love. And the names, if he was gonna put names, he can put them on the back. It's fine or do you even need names like names are really just for influencers and youtubers that do tutorials and need to tell you the name of the eyeshadows but at the same time if you have the palette like I can just point to the shit like does it matter if it has a name it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of tim tings tings <laughs> in the grand scheme of tings it don't matter right but anyhow let's look at the palette so there are th th three mattes and three shimmers I couldn't count right there. So there's a black, there two, there's a brown and an orange, and then like regular shimmer shades. This is Wayne, okay? This is basic 
rudimentary, elementary, the most basic vanilla palette you can find. You would wear this palette every day and be fine. Like, point blank, period. So I get it. I get where he's coming from. I don't need it. And I don't know that you do either because it's a neutral palette. Do you have a neutral palette? Do you need another one? Do you really? Do you really? And from what I'm hearing, this formula is more of just a wash of color kind of formula, a buildable formula. It's probably very beginner friendly, but that's not a beginner friendly price point. You get what I mean? $55 for six shades. I'm just not feeling it. Wayne, I see you, but um, I can't, I cannot do it. Not for that kind of palette. Not for how simple that palette is. Not for six shades. A black that I already have everywhere. I understand why you have the black, but I don't need that in another palette and I don't need to be spending $55. So y'all let me know if y'all are buying that, but what I'm not doing is buying that. Ooh, no, mm -mm. not getting it. And I don't, do you really want that? We are all about supporting people and like, you know, being there and stuff, but we should not be buying things unnecessarily just to support people. Like, I'm just saying, if you don't want it, if you're not going to use it, why are you buying it? I'm trying to tell myself that because I do a lot of that foolishness too. And you need to learn from my mistakes. I'm, I'm doing foolishness so I can tell y'all not to do foolishness. Just practice what I preach, not what I do because... <laughs> If y'all use me as a measuring stick, boy, you are gonna fail. Anyway, let's move on. Fenty Skin. Let's get through the rest of these fast because I ain't got time to be talking all night. So Fenty Skin. Rihanna is releasing a companion brand to her Fenty Beauty line. What is it called? Just Fenty Beauty? Fenty? Is it called? What is it called? Fenty Beauty? Yeah, Fenty Beauty. So now we have Fenty Skin. Come on, Riri. Come with the goods. Okay, is she out here being a... Uh, you know, she's out here building her empire and I am here for it, okay? So with Fenty Skin, they have a toner that's called Fat Skin, which is cute, right? There's an SPF moisturizer and a cleanser, which are very basic products. All right, let me cross that out. Very basic products, easy, one and done, no problem. And I think they're only available right now on the Fenty Skin website. So there's a new website, but it's gonna come to Sephora. Of course it has to, like, are you kidding me? Sephora is her retailer after all, but this is kind of a one size fits all again because men are included, dark skin, light skin, it's for everybody, right? So I think this is, this is, this is cute. I'm not mad at it at all. The cleanser, basic, you need a cleanser. A toner is beautiful. I've been getting into toners. Don't even get me started on my essential waters like Korean and Japanese skincare. I am all for it, okay? I love these for oily skin because they're lightweight, they're hydrating, but they are not too emollient. And it's better to use these like essential toners and waters on their makeup because it doesn't interfere. I'm just saying, I see where she's going. And then she has that day cream with SPF. SPF is necessary. We should all have this. So the fact that she released it, I'm here for it. I'm not buying it. I'm personally not because I already have my toners. I don't need you. And I have my cleansers. Like I have, ooh, and the price point, I think these are gonna be like $30 in that price range, like high 30s, mid 30s. And do you need to spend all of that? I don't think so. Not when we have good old Korean and Japanese skincare out here helping us out. So I'm not buying it, but I'm here for Rihanna. Like I will support, okay? I will support her. I will check for her. I just don't have to write a check or buy any of it. No, I'm not buying none of it. Nope. So sticking to Fenty, they released a new gloss bomb. This is the shade Cheeky and this was in the holiday set it's a reddish shade so it's already been like out here before people saw it in the mini and now it's available in a full size so she's expanding the range of um, lip glosses and I love the gloss bombs so I am not opposed to this shade I don't think yeah I'm not getting it because I don't need another lip gloss at all like lip gloss is popping in the summer it's cool it's cute it's time but um I don't want I don't want another lip gloss and definitely not like a red like a sheer red shade 
but I can see how this balances out the range. Like she has news, she has the clear, she has like a chocolate um, cocoa one. It balances out. There's like a peachy one too, Fenty. Yeah, so I see it's a great addition. I'm with you. I'm not getting it. I don't know if you all need to get it, but if you wanted another lip gloss, one that's in a red tint, it's not bad. A Fenty, Fenty gloss bombs are good. So you, you let me know if you're getting that. Now let's talk about the Dose of Colors new palettes. They're called Cutting Edge and Smoky Soiree. The Soiree. Ooh, child. So these are quints. So they're five eyeshadows in these palettes. And I do like the Dose of Colors palettes. However, how much are they? Hold up. What do you mean access denied? Oh, these are not bad. I thought they were more expensive. So these palettes are $32. I don't see it on the Ulta website, but I'm going off the prices of their existing palettes. Those are $32. So it's probably the same price point for these eyeshadows. Where are they then? Like, where are they being sold? So it looks like these are available on their website. Oh, there's a 20% off coupon. Oh, let me find out. Let me go ahead and hit the... Let me get that. 20% off my... Okay, okay. Look at me shopping in the shopping blog video. This is not what I suggest doing. However, there is the Cutting Edge palette, $32, not too bad. That's a little pricey though for just five shades. Hmm, still better than the Wayne Goss price, but I do love their formulation. So this one has like those army green shades and then two shimmers. They look promising, ain't gonna lie. And then the other one has like a ready tone brown with come on now i need to see these shades a ready tone brown and then a dark brown a black and then a taupe do i need another black though but i do like i mm, i might be getting this guys low key i do like their other palettes and when i did my build a palette and i used the marvelous mauves that red tone it was so good that all right we'll think about it but you know what we're gonna cross this off i didn't buy it if I buy it, I'll talk about it, but I didn't buy it. If that 20% works, <laughs> I buy it. Mind your business. Stop judging me. You are so judgmental. <sighs> Let's move on. So Morphe is revealing Morphe 2. So we can clown them, right? This is definitely not something I'm going to buy. So Morphe is debuting a little sister brand. Kind of like what Tarte did with Sugar Rush. And kind of what ColourPop did with what's their version of what's that spinoff? Okay, so it's Soul Body for their body care products, and then skincare is Fourth Ray Beauty. Similar kind of concept. That's what Morphe is doing, which I think is actually a good move for them because it's aimed towards the younger crowd that wants to use very lightweight products on their skin, like skincare and like tinted moisturizers and like lip balms and like just fresh face, kind of like Glossier, kind of like what that Billy Bobby Millie Bobby Brown, what is that, Florence by Mills, kind of towards the younger crowd. So I get it and it's a good move for them because they are influencer driven and they're using the, the uh, listen, okay, I don't have TikTok, no, I'm not interested, I don't care, but Charlie D'Amelio and her sister, the D'Amelio sisters, they're in the ad, very pretty girls, very all-American, like, everyday girls, like, nothing too glamorous about them, and they're using them to market the products, and they have millions of subscribers and viewers and people that follow them religiously, so I think it's a good move for Morphe. I'm not interested. This is not this is not for me, okay? If I was gonna do skincare, it would not be for Morphe. Why? Why would I do why? Why again? But you know, this was not for me, okay? I am I need anti-aging. That's <laughs> I would not. However, I'm sure they will do great and they have to move on from the problematic influencers. So we'll see. You know, good for them. High five. You know, good. Go, go, go you. All right, moving on. Let's talk about Patrick Ta, the new Glow Collection. So he launched new products for like the summertime. So there's a new shade of lipstick. Okay, I just got three of his lipsticks and they're phenomenal. And then he released this pink one. It's a hot pink. 
I kind of want to get it, but I'm not going to get it because I already have pink. Ooh, it's so pretty though. His formula is so good. I am high key tempted. I don't need it. I don't need it. I really don't need it, but I really don't need it. So we'll see about that. But also in the glow collection, he has a lip mask, which is $22. I don't know that I need a no I don't think you guys need to spend $22 on a lip a lip mask no sir then he has the major glow dewy milk mist it's $38 glass skin mist so just a mist like anything else I don't know 38 why are we spending this much on mists $38 that's a lot that's too much and this has rose hip seed oil I don't need how why would you need oil in your spray? Because your oil is going to break down the, the, the foundation. That's not necessarily what you need to be doing. Unless you're just... Are you just going to apply it to bare skin? I don't know. I'm going to mind my business. You know what? Then he has a major glow all over glow bomb. So this is a glowy bomb. 50... 50 dollars. <laughs> 50... 50 dollars for a... Why? why why or who a moisturizing balm designed to give your face and body a next level glow from the inside out super nourishing jojoba oil and shea butter soften the skin so you're telling me i am going to spend 50 dollars on some jojoba oil and shea butter with some pearl in listen to me listen to me right now don't do this buy yourself some regular shea butter or some jojoba oil or buy both mix it up and put in some loose pigment in there why do you need to spend 50 dollars you know what 50 i'm offended patrick me the I, I was here for the lipstick but now you offended me and i'm not i'm not doing it patrick no Moving on, Huda Beauty. There's a highlighter from Huda Beauty. This rose highlighter, here's the thing, here's the thing. I, you know, I'm all for beautiful highlighter, but I'm over highlighters, I have enough. This one is just in the shape of a rose and I feel like it's gonna be hard pressed just by how it's shaped. And is that glitter? Okay, I can't even speak about glitter right now because this highlighter is kind of glittery and I'm kind of feeling it, but anyhow, this is just a champagne. It's just a, is it really just a champagne shade? It really is. You don't need 55, $55, and there's a brush at $40. You don't, just because it says it's 10 centimeters or four inches does not mean a damn thing. You do not need that much highlighter anyway. Why is it 55 You know what? Between she and Patrick, them very upset. No, no, 50, go on, go buy a regular highlighter. You don't, matter of fact, buy a mini. Buy a Becca highlighter mini. You will never go through that. Stop, stop, no, no. Anyway, move on, move on. So we have Viseart, right? Viseart is releasing two new Petite Pro palettes. When I tell you how bored I was when I looked at these Petite Rose. okay 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 listen i don't mind with your eyeshadows i think they're great actually i think they're fantastic i don't like their petite pro palettes because they're like really tiny i don't like tiny i just cannot get into tiny pans i know people love them though and they're lower price so you can get into them and they're a mix of matte and shimmers so it's got giving the everyday person something to try out in a little mini size there is like a nude one with a peach, yeah, like a peach tone one and then a pinky mauvey one. These are very ashy gray tones. These are not my shades, they're not my colors, but um, if you're into this, they're cute. I just feel like mm, Viseart is not where it's at anymore for me. I don't like their petites. And I feel like these are so boring and tired. You can probably just get something like this from ColourPop if you really wanted to. Like, do you see? Do you see? You don't need this. Stop. Stop. I mean, it's cute, but no, you don't. You really don't. You really seriously don't. All right, Olaplex. Olaplex. Okay, so this is a hair care thing, but I wanted to mention it. Olaplex is releasing a new hair care product. It's a strengthener. 
it's called their intensive bond building hair treatment it's number zero so this is like a primer treatment it can be used alone but it can work with the number three treatment which is the builder so you know number three is a Olaplex signature product it really helps your hair get stronger if it's damaged from color treatment and from like a lot of processing and heat styling this works really well and now they're using like a primer that works in conjunction with the, the number three like it's in tandem number zero which is this bonding treatment is a watery liquid that will dry quickly using number three over it which is the cream the bonder keeps the hair damp so both products can continue to work during the process it works on all hair types and textures and there's a kit that's 28 dollars and it includes the the new liquid thing and then number three as a sample size I am low-key interested in this because I love number three but I don't use it that much so do I really need to get I don't know that I need to get this but I'll tell you right now if you have issues with color treatment bleaching all that this is great because my ends I had bleached the hell out of my hair right and it was so tragic it was like straw you know when your hair is bleached and it becomes like that really straw like texture and it tangles a lot and it like breaks I was using number three in my hair every other day to help like help it recover because it was struggling child and it really worked so I'm interested I'm gonna keep my eye out I'm gonna keep it like on my wish list like things to try so we'll see we'll see how that goes all right moving on did you guys see the Laura Mercier honey powder so this is her translucent powder it's listen her translucent powder is well known everybody loved that translucent powder and now they released a honey shade which is a darker shade like how long was this gonna take you laura laura i'm talking to you like why now after all this time all these years now you wanted to help the girls now you wanted to play with the girls no you know what i am mad out of principle out of principle that it took you this long to come out with a deeper shade that was going to be better for darker skin tones no out of principle i am blocking you no how dare you it's a yellow tone powder too it's not even that deep you know what you know what no i'm lying here i am getting all sassy she has a translucent medium deep i did i did pick that up I am such a hypocrite. All right, all right, I'm gonna give you a pass. I'm gonna give you a pass, Laura. You you do have the deep. Okay, okay. I'm still not getting the honey one, but I, I, I'll forgive you for now. So this is gonna be more like a banana powder. So it's gonna be for like medium skin tones, but you can also use it as a highlight setting powder under the eyes, I know. A lot of people like the powder. I know it's drying though, so. You let me know if you try this out. I'm not trying it out. I don't think you need to try it out either, but you know, here we are. Anyway, moving on. We have these new palettes from BH Cosmetics. These are their ice cream palettes. They're available at Ulta and they're monochrome palettes. Not gonna lie, these look interesting. The green one and the blue one. Now, BH is hit or miss. Like, I like the original Zodiac palette. Really nice quality. They're baked eyeshadows. And these look promising. They're like a orange one. There's a like a purpley pink one that looks really pretty. There's a very orange coral looking one. There's a very orange yellow looking one. Okay, that's pretty too. There's a neutral. Oh, the neutral one looks pretty. Ooh. And then they have brushes. Okay, these are ice cream themes. So you have sugar cone, cotton candy, orange sorbet, bubble gum, a cherry on top, pistachio. Let me find out. Those are cute. Those are cute. How much are these going to be? $18. That's not bad. Maybe, maybe I'll think about it. If these are in store at Ulta where I can pick them up, I might. I might. Those look cute. I'm not going to lie. Those look cute. The green one, the blue one, and then the, the orange one and the nude one. Maybe all of them. No, I don't like that purple pink one or even that the coral one. The coral one is okay too. You know what? I'm I'm going to make a note to check these out. These look I'm not gonna, those yeah, they do look interesting. That's kind of cute. Okay. All right, fine. These are not on my list. I just saw them in on trend mood. Okay, moving on. So, did y'all see this Becca Zero collection? I know a lot of people, a lot of people are like 
where is Becca going? So they're like, it's zero pigment foundation, but like a foundation has pigment. That's like, that's what a foundation is. Like, how can you have a zero? It's a primer. Like, we see what you're doing, but you know, a lot of people are talking about it though. So it's like bad press is still press and a lot of people are trying it out just to make fun of it. So like, you know what I mean? It's still getting out there. Here's the thing on popular opinion, okay? I low-key want to try this. I know, I know you're probably like, Tina, what the hell are you talking about? I know. There's no rhyme or reason to why I would want to try this out. It's literally a jar of primer, a smoothing silicone primer, and then a clear balm to highlight the skin. And I'm over here like, can I please? I actually reached out to Becca and said, can I try this out? Because <laughs> they sent me the new plumping lip balms, the Hydrolyte. I low-key really like these a lot. They smell so good. And I'm not into tinted balms. Like, I think they're a waste of money because you can just get a regular lip balm and a little bit of lip color and you get this. But these smell so good. They feel so good on the lips and they give such a beautiful shine that that's why I want to try this. I know, I know I'm like so stupid, but sue me okay i want to try it hopefully they send it to me and if they do i'm trying it on camera i don't care i like it <laughs> speaking of things i want to try lash freak from urban decay urban decay low-key they haven't sent me anything in a while they used to send me pr i think i'm probably off the pr list or they just haven't sent me the recent collections i don't know because there have been times where they will skip me for a collection but they haven't sent me anything like recently at all so i see other people getting it and i'm happy that they're getting the chance to try out urban decay and they're on the pr list now and they're like smaller creatives so i'm happy for them so we'll see if they send me anything if not not like this lash freak I'm kind of intrigued by the mascara one just looks interesting but I've never loved Urban Decay mascaras like I have a couple but I never like them so I don't know if I get the palette like I'm still gonna get probably the ultraviolet pal palette just for collection and then I want to get the marbled palette maybe I won't get the ultraviolet because I heard such bad things Maybe I will maybe I will break my collecting habits and not get that and just get the marbled palette. But if I do, I'll just pick up the mascara at the same time. I'm hoping fingers crossed that they send me something, but if they don't, it's fine, you know? Like I'm glad other people are getting like the PR products from them. So, next thing they have here is the Elf Cosmetics they released their new bite size face palette. So they have the bite size eyeshadow palettes that has four eyeshadows in there. Different themes, $3 a pop, like really affordable. And then now they're doing the bite size face duos that has a matte, a matte and shimmer, either blush, bronzer, or highlighter. And these are $3 too. Could you ask for anything else? Come on, uh, what? Now these shades, I'm looking at the swatches, not for me. The bronzer looks a little cute, but the other shades, these are not for me at all but they're cute like three dollars in the drugstore i think these are actually these seem good so i'm interested to see i probably won't try them out but they're, they're interesting then juvia's place juvia's place release lipsticks nude lipsticks and it's like perfect there's such a great collection of nudes and low-key i want to get these and try them out I should reach out to Juvia's Place and ask if I can try them. I might reach out. We'll see. They have sent me products before, but you know, I'm not, I don't like reaching out to brands and asking for products. It feels so icky to me, but like, I feel like I have a good relationship. So Juvia's Place, I'm interested in trying out their nudes. We'll see how we feel about that. And then Propa Beauty is a new brand on the scene and they also have nude lipsticks and these are for deeper skin tones. And I'm interested, this is a black owned brand. I wanna try these out as well. They're beautiful nudes, they're orangey tones, which you know I love. So I love these shades. Why does this person look familiar? These swatches, ooh, yes, baby. These look good, these look good, I'm interested. I'm gonna check them out. Probably not now, but at a later date, I'm gonna definitely check them out. Now, who else do we have? Midas Cosmetics. So Midas Cosmetics is a new brand to me. I know Smokey Glow did a palette with them. I didn't like that palette because they're like pinks and I'm not a pink person. That's just not my color story and she loves pink. So it was a good collection for her, but just not up my alley. 
but I picked up some of their palettes, their quads. They were on sale and I wanted to try out the formula. So I'm interested to see. And I think they're also black owned or it may be Afro Latina, but you know, minority owned. So I want to support and we might try out these um these new palettes from neon MUA. so he is a black beauty boy and his skin let me tell you about skin his skin is glorious so he's releasing four face palettes with midas cosmetics that are meant to be bronzer contour highlight and blush in one and he has two palettes that are gonna be great for rich dark chocolate skin yes so it's noon dawn dusk and midnight they're beautiful i don't see myself getting these though because the one that i'd get is probably noon and i don't like the shades in noon they're just too mm, the highlight is too light the blush is too light the bronzer and the contour would work for me but i'm just not interested in those shades and i feel like the one in dusk is too dark like there's a bright red and then the bronzer and contour just look too deep for me so i don't feel like there's a shade for me but these are beautiful like look at the shades i'm swatching you see how these may be too dark for me but i am so glad that we have one for rich complexions and deeply rich complexions like look at the bronzer and the darkest one that is everything but you see the light one that's not and the medium one is just not gonna be for me so I'm gonna skip this but congrats to neon MUA he deserves it and Midas cosmetics gone girl let me see what you got like go ahead I am here for it what else do we have here do we have anything else we want to talk about mm, no I'm good I think we're good here wait 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 yeah yeah cuz I have a couple more things but I'm not really interested I don't care Pat McGrath the mascara I'm not gonna get it it's a high price mascara and I'm just not just not but I mean good for her I've heard good things about her mascara it's just not for me I can get um, cheaper ones you know but you know I'm always checking for auntie pot I'm here for her I'm in her corner rooting her on color pop has a freckle pen if anybody's gonna have a freckle pen it should be color pop because it's cheap you can get it try it out if you want to like it's up to you ColourPop has also a pretty fresh foundation, which is a lightweight foundation. Cute. It's for, you know, you can try it out. I do like their foundation. The No Filter Foundation is one of my favorites. So, it's there. It's there. You can try it out. You know what? I'm going to end there because I don't feel like talking anymore. And my throat is getting dry and this video is hella long. So, those are the products that we mentioned for this shopping block, right? There's some things here I low-key want to get. Some things you might see in future haul videos, so don't judge me. I'm trying okay I am trying but some of these things are really cute like the BH cosmetics palette low-key interested Fenty skin might get might we'll see what else they come out with I might dabble later on not now not now but I might I might Fenty you know I'm here for Fenty Urban Decay we'll see Urban Decay and I just have a thing okay no matter what they do I know they have boring releases and I know they have releases that hit or miss and I'm just like I'm still rooting for them like I want them to succeed and then the um Dose of Colors palette if I can get that 20% I might order it now so that's all I have for you guys today let me know what you guys are interested in or you're not interested in not picking up because that's what this is all about that's the premise we don't always succeed but we try okay over here we try our best and that's all we can do so I'm gonna go ahead and list all the products down below along with links on where you can pick them up if those links have asterisks next to them then those are affiliate links which means if you shop through those links I'm not saying you should but if you do it's a great way to show your support because it gives me a small kickback for that purchase it doesn't change the sale price at all it just gives your girl a little you know a little something something for putting you on if you're not comfortable with that just shop the way you normally shop no must no fuss but if you do shop through my links thank you so much i really appreciate it because it does help me and i can put it right back into this channel to keep bringing you the content that you want and i will also leave links to my instagram and twitter we should be following me along and until my next video which will be very soon i'll talk to you bye guys